Hi guys! Alright, we are back again with another video for my week of my year 2017. And this time we're melting plastic. <laughs> I know you're like, what the hell does that have to do with the prompt for me? I know you were all thinking that. So this month the prompt is Think Spring slash Tip It In. And really keeping with the idea of spring, the bright blooming flowers, the bright sunshine, the green leaves on the trees, the, you know, green grasses and that sort of thing. All those things that make us with allergies and hay fever, like sneeze and wheeze. Um, but they're still beautiful, right? Um, so, okay, I saw something about this on Facebook. Um, this is not my original idea. I don't know who, whose original idea it is. I don't know. I've lost track of the post. But they basically cut up a bunch of brightly colored drinking straws and then they showed a different bunch of different kind of things you could make with them. I thought that was really interesting. I need to try it. So I got these neon colored plastic drinking straws at Dollar Tree. Um, I got a big pack of them for a dollar. I spent a Saturday afternoon cutting them up into little pieces like this. Um, there's also a few straws in here from like the red ones. Can you see the red in there? Those are from a um, dinner out we had with friends. It was in my... Um, my, I didn't drink a cocktail, I was going to say cocktail, it was in my ginger ale. Um, I'm not drinking alcohol right now. Um, and I think there's some black ones in here too from, again, from a, a drink that I had. Um, I bring them home, wash them out. Now, the straws I got at Dollar Tree were the bendy kind, and they had this bendy part, which I was going to throw away when I cut the other part off, and I thought, hmm, no, we're not going to do that. We'll save them too. So first I tried it the way they showed in the video. I'm going to leave the lid off of that. And I did it uh, between wax paper, um, the waxy side. And you put a bunch of your things in here, fold the wax paper over and iron it and melt it. The problem with that I found is that the straws stick to the wax paper. Um, so I came out with something like this that was stuck with the wax paper. In fact, the first couple I did stuck to the wax paper on both sides. And that's fine. I can do something with these, but that wasn't what I was looking for. So then I remembered I have two of these little um, non-stick craft sheets. I, ha I happen to have two of them, and I use them for baking and melting things on, and I was like, hmm. Where the heck did I put those? And then when I finally remembered today, I was like, aha, we better fill that before I forget. And it worked like a charm, and I came out with, this is one that was loose and stranded by itself, but it, I got this, which is what I wanted. I'll show you how I did it. So I literally just grabbed a bunch of the plastic drinking straw and group it together in a pile. Put your other sheet on top, and this is an iron set to high, a dry iron, no steam, uh, no steam. And yes, this is bigger than the little iron you guys have seen me use in the past. And that's because my husband bought himself a new iron. He, he irons clothes, I don't iron clothes. <laughs> and he said, can you use this, you know, the old one? Um, and I said, of course I can. So, <laughs> so now I have a little mini ironing board and iron in my craft room. Yay, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> so then you just iron them until the plastic melts and it's flat. Be, please be careful, mind your fingers. Um, this is gonna get hot, the plastic is gonna get hot. We don't want no one to get burned. So then it doesn't stick to this one at all. And you just give it a second to cool off. And look. And I can't wait to use these in my journal. These are going to be make really great embellishments in my journal. Either the single ones or the whole ones would make great decorations. You could cut flower shapes from them. Um, you could just cut it apart into pieces. I could see either one of those. I think they make a really fun addition to your journal. And uh, You could glue them in, you could staple them in, uh, whatever. So I want you guys to give that a try and see what you can come up with and have some fun with it. I think it's a really interesting idea. Um, and if I can find a link to the blog post or Facebook post to, where they show all the different things you can do with straws. I will link it in the description. If you want to join the My Year 2017 Facebook group because you don't know what the heck I'm talking about um, or my other Facebook group or you want to send me happy mail, support my channel by shopping in my Etsy shop, 
uh, send me an email, anything like that. All that stuff's in the description, so check it out. Um, the most important thing, of course, besides like, sharing, and subscribing, please, um, is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.